<laughs> okay, no cussing and no telling the truth about us. <laughs> oh, okay, now, that, that, now that's recorded, Angie. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, welcome to Reiki Call. I'm glad you're here. Um, gosh, first I like to just open by sharing what you've been doing with Reiki, if you'd like to share anything about that. And, and hey, Angie, do you want to share about sending Reiki to my daughter and what happened there? Yes, I will. Um, Karen offered me a work study program to help me out. And uh, her daughter was uh, gone to Manhattan and she needed to get a job. And she needed uh, an apartment and she needed uh, roommates. She needed a, a sustainable job and, you know, affordable housing. And I said to Karen at the time, as a joke, I said, well, if I pull this off, well, I'll be Reiki master of the century. And we just <laughs> laughed about it. It's like, you know, as we know, we don't do it. God does it anyway, but a source, whatever you refer to it as. And anyway, so uh, away we went. And uh, she's a very strong-willed person. And I started to give her Reiki. And they were like, come back. You know, the power actually push against my hands. And I'm like, I've never had that happen before. And my God, my Karuna, I mean, my Reiki master's daughter. I didn't want to call and tell her that, you know, like, what's wrong with me? So I tried it several more times and nothing worked. So finally, I just had to call and say, Karen, I'm having a problem. And uh, she laughed and she kind of told me that uh, some other person had done, it, you know, done work on her before and said, you have to ask her soul's permission. And uh, mm. I said, cool. So I did. And then it worked just fine. And she was very receptive. And I just, so I did it every time. And I think that's kind of cool. I learned something there. And anyway, the second day of Karina class on my birthday, I'm on the table and uh, Karen just had got a text from her daughter that she got the job, got the apartment and got roommates. I'm glad <laughs> I was laying down or else I would have fainted. And <laughs> not that I don't believe, it's just that, wow, it just all came together like that. Only God can do that. And I am most mm -hmm. grateful. And it was one of the best birthday gifts I've ever received other than becoming a Corona master. That's mm -hmm. my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, well, that's awful sweet, Angie. <laughs> well, I'm grateful for the work that you did on that because my daughter was pretty anxious going into her interviews and she only had two. And uh, the first interview that she had, she got that job. Wow. Yahoo Reiki, Yahoo God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Sabrina, we know what you've been doing well with Reiki. <laughs> Reiki class. It just started. Yeah. Hmm. Have you had a chance to use it at work yet? You know, I haven't. Um, and I've been kicking that around where it would be appropriate. You know, um, so hopefully it'll sort of open up to me where it will be appropriate, you know, or, or where I can use it, you know. Um, But I'm, I'm, I'm doing, you know, I, I'm so new to it. I have been doing Reiki on myself twice a day. Um, wow. Awesome. So, yeah, I'm doing that. So, um, eventually, I'm going to move to family members. But, yeah, since I just completed the training on Sunday, it's all pretty new still. Uh-huh. Well, that's perfect. Yeah, family members. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you have any pets? Yeah. We'll have to try it on the pets. What What do you have? Um, uh, lab mix. Cool. The dog. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, have you tried it on the dog yet? No. Uh. -uh. Okay. Well, I bet your dog is gonna love Reiki. <laughs> just I just want to compliment her, Karen, for doing it twice a day it's right you know a lot of us have trouble giving it to ourselves so that's perfect and i i don't think you need to worry sabrina i think you know if you just keep doing it spirit will guide you and lead you because it has its own intelligence when to use it and how to use it if you're just open to it that's how i feel karen what do you think yeah i think so and just look for opportunities so for your dog yeah just turn the rain mm -hmm. on and uh, tell your dog you can have as much energy as you like and 
just kind of sit there with your palms on your lap, sending Reiki and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. You no, know, maybe your dog will come over and sniff your palms or, you know, come over to have you pet. Is it a him or her? She, a, a her. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So maybe she'll come over and want you to pet her. Uh -oh. Okay. Awesome. Okay. All right. Well, Kevin, have you used Reiki to help you manifest at your job? Uh, uh, unfortunately, no, I haven't. Uh, I've, uh, I've, I've stayed with my, my Reiki. I uh, replaced my traditional morning meditation with Reiki uh -huh. uh, for over, it's been over a year now since I took your class. Uh -huh. And um, I actually did Reiki on another person about two weeks ago that I hadn't done Reiki on in, I'm guessing, six months. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they commented on how uh, how powerful it was and much more warm than than it was previously. So I I know I'm going in the right direction. Wow. Um, but I'm I guess. I'm just not utilizing it uh, probably the way it should be. Oh, well, there's no shoulds in Reiki. There's only, you you can try this or try that, but good for you. Yes, it does get stronger the more that you use it. So that's great. Well, you can use it um, at your job to help you be more successful. Um, you know, just send Reiki, um, all three symbols that you know, and um you know send it out there to manifest for the highest good of all concerned mm -hmm. two and a half symbols i'm still working on that other one <laughs> <laughs> that's a good answer yeah that's understood yeah really yeah mm -hmm. or you can use it to attract the right and perfect job if you want you know if you want a different job mm. um, yeah i uh you know i've, I've been where the the lady is uh, right after the weekend your your mind is kind of frazzled but uh, it's she's beginning an amazing journey that, that i have cherished truly for the last year so congratulations oh thanks yeah well great well i've been using a whole lot of reiki for classes i i was in st louis last weekend having fun with sabrina and a bunch of other awesome people Mm -hmm. And then the weekend before that, I was teaching Holy Fire Karuna for three days and had some house guests, including Angie. That was a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, you know, giving myself Reiki, giving the house Reiki and sending Reiki for the right and perfect hotel location. At the last minute, I changed my hotel location because I thought we would be too cramped in the accommodations that I had rented and so I needed to find something quick and I wanted it in the same area so it would be convenient for the students and it's helpful for me to know the area where the restaurants are and so forth so found a hotel just a little bit down the street and it was great and they upgraded me to a suite that's so, even better. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Well, um, I think we're going to move into the time of uh, sending Reiki to each other for 25 minutes. And then after that, if you have any questions, um, you know, we'll do that. And if you don't have any questions, um, I have a whole treasure trove of questions that people ask me and so i've you know i can answer those okay all right well let's activate um all all the symbols that you can you know your power symbol and your mental emotional symbol and the distance symbol whether you can draw it or just intend And flap it over on the other hand. 
Okay. If you want to play music in the background, you can just um, mute yourself and enjoy. Oh, we're intending to send Reiki to each other and to anyone that watches this because um, I'm recording it and uh, also any world situations that you're aware of. We send Reiki to those also.
Ah, welcome, Valerie. We're sending Reiki to each other right now. So feel free to join in and activate your distance Reiki, and we're doing that until about 7.40.
Okay, we're going to bring that to a close. Well, that was feeling awesome. Could y'all feel the energy? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hey, is this the Valerie from Reiki class this weekend? Yes, it is. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you joined us. Hi, Valerie. Thank you. Hello. Uh, Angie. Yeah, hey, Angie. Valerie. Masquerading as Nora tonight, accidentally. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Sneaky. <laughs> Incognito. She didn't mean to. It's a technical glitch. Yes. Uh, yes. Well, hey, Valerie, we've got Sabrina from class too. So. Oh, yeah. Hey. hey. Salutations. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, do any of you have any um, questions? How about comments? Oh, I have a question. If we use the, um, oh, where we write down names and put it in the box uh -huh. and, and do meditation send Reiki to, to the box do we need to do anything in particular every day to like recharge it or does it just continuously that list just stay present or active or other than you know the, the Reiki other than giving it the Reiki every day is there anything additional we need to do to that physical piece of paper or, or box oh good question um Every day you're going to give it Reiki for however long that you have, one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, whatever you'd like. Um, you know, give Reiki to the box, um, draw your symbols over it, hold the box, and intend it manifest results for the highest good of all concerned. Okay. Did that answer your question? Yeah, Hold, holding the box. Okay. Yeah. You can hold it or you can beam Reiki to the box. Okay. Yeah. Either way, what kind of box did you find? I haven't put one together, but I have a long skinny box. I think it would be perfect for a nice long list of people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great. Yes. Then um, periodically I go through my list and when things manifest, I just um, cross it off and put a little TYG on it by the side. That, Thank you, God. Oh, yeah. And then periodically I'll, uh, you know, toss the paper out of the things that man have manifested on it and then start with a new one. Or you could put everything on single slips of paper. I keep a little pad of paper. I'm holding it up here. It's um, two by four, I think, scrap piece of paper. And I, I write down names as they come in on the Reiki student Facebook group. Um, and then just add it to um, okay. my list of Reiki requests. Mm -hmm. At the uh, advanced Reiki training level, we learn how to charge up crystals to send Reiki. So we charge up the crystals every day and then intend the crystals continuously send Reiki. Okay, any other questions? Hey, Angie, no questions this time? <laughs> Actually, I had a comment. Um, you know, Sabrina was talking about looking for ways to, you know, use Reiki. Uh, while the call was going on, uh, some sirens were going on outside of my house. And I got up and I had to look to make sure it wasn't, you know, uh, something bad going on. And it was the uh, Chicago Fire Department and the ambulance uh, a couple houses down uh, taking somebody in. Uh, and so I immediately just included them and sent them some Reiki. So I just want to say that um, opportunities present itself daily, you know, to uh, all the time to send Reiki because that person is in trouble. And, you know, one of my neighbors. And so, uh, you know, it was great that we're all on the call and I was already powered up and grounded and whatever. But 
you know, I was just going to throw that in there. This happened during the call, and so I came right back and continued. But, you know, uh, Reiki, there's always opportunities with sure, I think. Uh-huh. Yes, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Reiki for the ambulance. Yeah. For the fire department. Okay. Fire engines. Yeah, I always beam a little Reiki whenever I see an accident or fire truck or police car or whatever. Okay. All right. Well, hey, I'm going to pull out some of my questions. Um, someone wrote me, I don't feel the energy, the Reiki energy in my hands anymore. What could be the reason and what do I do about it? So, um, you know, that could be several different things. Um, one, it could be the person that you're giving Reiki to. Kind of like um, Nora, Nora, aka Angie, um, was sharing earlier when she was trying to send distance Reiki to my daughter and it didn't go until she asked her soul's permission. Um, the person might not be open to receiving it. Two, it might be that you have encountered a blockage in the energy field. And when there's a blockage, um, the energy isn't going to flow well or it may feel cold. Um, and that area needs more Reiki until, that, uh, until the energy is flowing more warmly, um, you know, to get that blockage cleared. And then another thing might be, especially when you're newer to Reiki, that you are not able to perceive the flow of the energy. Um, when I first learned Reiki, it took me a year before I really felt the flow of Reiki in my hands. Um, I think there were several reasons for that. One, I didn't have very much training. I only had a two-hour class. It really wasn't, I didn't learn very much in two hours. Um, you know, two, um, I was emotionally all clogged up from a prior abusive relationship. So, um, you know, when your body is emotionally clogged, um, it's not as easy to feel the flow of the energy as when you're more emotionally free. So, uh, let's see if there's anything else I wrote. Oh, there's um, a Reiki News article from the summer of 2010 called Reiki Works Anyway by Nan uh, Kratov. And, you know, she wrote about that, that, um, you know, sometimes not being able to feel the energy. And whenever students tell me that they don't feel the energy, what I like to do is I have them, you know, hold their hands, you know, palms down, and then I put my hands underneath. And um, I've always been able to feel the energy coming out of their hands. So, you know, again, sometimes it just takes longer to perceive it. Um, do you have any questions about that? No. Okay. All right. Um, the next question or comment was, um, there've been a few people that while doing Reiki on them, uh, they get an intense pressure. They said that it's actually really uncomfortable and kind of painful. Any insight on this? Do I need to back off? Should they try to break through it if they can? Is this being a block removed? Um, so that doesn't happen very often. But if it does, then I suggest moving the hands out into the aura wherever it feels really intense. It might be that that person is very sensitive to the energy there. And particularly if someone has a headache, they tend to have thick, heavy energy here around the brow, uh, maybe around the temples, often around the back of the head. You know, wherever it's painful, um, if you scan there with your hand, you'll be able to feel thick, heavy energy there. And so when that energy is really thick, if you put your hands, you know, right on top of that, um, while the energy is being dissolved, it can feel kind of intense. So it can work better for the person to work with your hands a few inches out into the aura. 
Um, and you can also kind of sweep your hands through the aura, you know, intending to release, um, you know, the, the thick energy there. But, you know, giving Reiki farther out will help that to dissolve more gently and um, relieve any pressure. So you just move your hands out to where it's not um, uncomfortable for the person. Okay, let's see if I wrote anything else. Oh, I also wrote that pressure in the head may also need that the person needs grounding. You know, a lot of times we get headaches because we're too mental. We're thinking, 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 and the energy is all in our heads. Um, so grounding, connecting to the earth or doing something physical, um, you know, getting outside, taking a walk, um, intending to send your energy down into the earth, giving Reiki to your knees and your feet, um, that can help you ground and distribute that energy through your body so that it's not all built up in your head. Have any of you had that experience when giving Reiki to someone that they said it felt like pressure? I haven't really had that experience, but one time when I was, uh, my niece, who's a Reiki practitioner, was giving it to me, uh, she just had to back up. You know, she had to get about maybe like seven or eight feet away from me. <coughs> After the session, I asked her, I said, why did you do that? And she said that there was so much energy coming off of me that it almost knocked her down, you know? So I, maybe if somebody has a lot of energy or, you know, about half nuts like me, you know, all over the place. Uh, maybe, you know, it could be their energy too. And the only way she could do it, but that was for her comfort, not mine. But uh, she says it was just, she just couldn't stand that close to me and give it. So maybe it's kind of the same principle, Karen, I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Maybe she felt like you were sending energy out while she was trying to give. Well, at that time, I wasn't a Reiki practitioner. Oh, okay. uh, it was prior to that. And she just, she just said, you have just got so much energy. You know, she said that I just, and she said she'd ran into it one other time. And uh, she said, it's just fine. She said, I just can't, you know, I got to stand back away from you because it just, you know, so it just it's like bouncing off or something. I, I don't know what she meant. She was pretty experienced, but she said she'd only encountered it another time. So maybe that's a possibility if somebody has a lot of just natural energy or whatever themselves, maybe, you know, that, that could happen. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, what would be really interesting is to have her uh, give Reiki to you again in person whenever you have a chance and uh, see what she experiences this time. Uh, yes, I just talked on the phone a couple of nights ago. Uh, she's a level two and she wants to go on. So I told her that, you know, when I moved closer to where she lives, uh, that I would, uh, you know, she could go to one of my classes and uh, she yeah, plenty of opportunity there. Mm hmm Okay. Great. Great. Well, and Angie, you do have a lot of energy, so. It's just rolling off of you. Well, <laughs> I don't know what it is exactly, but, uh, you know, like I say, I, uh, she was able to do it. She said she had to get away from me a little bit, and she did. Uh, and so I, I felt kind of creepy, like something's wrong with me. No. And she says, no, no. She said, you said, and when I was getting a psychic reading before I became a Reiki practitioner, I sat down, and the woman backed up, and she said, Are, do, do you do Reiki? And I said, no, but everybody says I should. And she said, yeah. She said, you almost knocked me down. Your energy did when you sat down. So I'm like, what's up with this stuff? If I got all this energy, then why can't I get my house clean and all that stuff like I want? I don't get it. <laughs> 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 well one of the things that is kind of interesting is after people take a reiki class a lot of times people that have had trouble with their energy um, blowing up gadgets and light bulbs and things it often becomes more smooth and even and either that problem goes away or it becomes less of a problem 
Well, I never thought it was really a problem, but you know, several people have commented on it, so I guess it is for some people. Well, no, I'm not saying it's a problem. I'm just talking about a similar issue where oh, oh. people talk to me about prior to Reiki class, whenever they walk by a computer, the computer will stop working or um, light bulbs will explode, um, you know, things like that. Um, Wow. Well, they're not coming to my house. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, all right. And then um, another question is, I have a family member requesting Reiki healing for her daughter that has broken her arm. She has a cast on her arm right now. My question is, how soon should Reiki be started? How long should the treatments last and how often should they be done? So I think whenever you have an injury, you want to give Reiki right away. Um, there's something called the golden hour, which is the first 24 hours after the injury. If you're able to give Reiki then, um, it does the most good. Reiki anytime is going to work, but it's, it's going to really help. Um, you know, relieve the trauma of the situation, relieve uh, the pain and discomfort, and help the body from, you know, having as, as big of a reaction or response. Um, as far as how long should the treatments last, um, you know, ideally an hour a day uh, would be great until the person is better, if that's possible. But, you know, any amount of Reiki that you can send or give uh, would be great. So um, I'll share a little story. A while back, I dropped a water bottle on my foot. It, it wasn't a big glass like this. It was actually a bigger glass of water bottle full. And I dropped it from four feet up on my big toe. Um, well, that hurt a lot. Um, I immediately started giving Reiki to it, and I put lavender oil on it. And I continued giving Reiki several times a day and putting the lavender oil on it. I even intended to send Reiki back to just before the water bottle fell on my foot with the intention that it actually missed my foot. Um, well, all I can tell you is, although it hurt, it did not bruise and I did not lose my toenail. So I thought that was a pretty cool manifestation for uh, Reiki and the lavender oil. Wow, yeah. Okay. Well, hey, we are coming to the end of our time. I so appreciate you all joining us. And if you have questions, um, you know, we will do this once a month. Uh, send them to me in advance or you can bring them to the call. I love to hear from you. I love to connect and uh, encourage some more of your uh, class members to come join us because it becomes more fun when we have more input. And my goal is to support you in your Reiki practice, encourage you, and see you successful at blessing yourself and blessing others. Okay. Awesome. Very good. Oh. Yes, thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Okay. Well, hugs to you all, and um, I will catch you all next month. Take care. All right. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thanks again. Bye-bye.